So outside of the box, why did I decide to purchase the GoPro Hero 9? And if you follow me for a while, you know that I've been using GoPro for more than one year doing all my videos on this channel, at least the ones that I film outside. But since you put outside of the box this one, maybe you start to understand why did I decide to purchase this one? And no, it's not the bigger battery. It's not the accessories because you are going to understand that I was really disappointed with them. But it's not also the subscription, it's not the stickers, it's not definitely the manual. But there is big reasons behind my purchase and why I think that this camera can make your life much easier. It's inferior to the GoPro Max in many things, but let's just put the battery inside this camera and see a little bit close what is my first impressions outside of the box of the GoPro Hero 9. <laughs> Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love EOCs, PVs and obviously action cameras, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk a little bit more about this little baby, the GoPro Hero 9 that I simply, simply love it. But there are a few things that just out of the box I'm not really convinced about it, but I'll let you know in a second. Just looking to this one, I have to first of all talk a little bit about this box. It's simply, simply amazing that now it's not a plastic box and now it's a box that I can really, really use. But in the other side, the camera is really small, the box is massive. So if you are not using another thing, the camera is just free and moving around. So definitely not the best option in my opinion. I think that you could have like a compartment that you divide and your camera stay in the side and the other side you can put your small accessories. When we look to just the small extras accessories that you have, obviously you have your USB-C. This cable is simply, simply ridiculous. It's too small. Definitely, I don't understand why it's so short because the quality is there. When we look to the accessories, you just have the helmet mount. So I don't understand why it doesn't come with this mount that you can use with a tripod, that you can use with your selfie stick. This is mine but I would like to have seen that. You could even get this one through GoPro for 279 plus one year of um, insurance. But in the end of the day, the insurance from GoPro is simply horrible, to be completely honest. I almost purchased there, but if you purchase the GoPro from them and you have obviously the subscription, if you break your camera, you will have to pay $99 to replace it. So another thing that you need to consider when you are going to do a subscription, because for example I just purchased through Amazon and I get three years warranty in the same time I don't pay anything so if something goes wrong with my camera they replace it for a new one and if that happens the warranty will finish and I have to restart a new one if it's something that they can repair they will send me back the camera and my warranty will continue because of that it doesn't make any sense to purchase the subscription from GoPro so sorry GoPro I'm not really convinced with that the form factor I really like I really like the fact that now the um, battery it's bigger so definitely something that I'm really really happy about it this is so tight the way that it opens and closes that is something that was much easier to open on the GoPro Max and I really like the fact that now the battery is bigger because the old batteries from GoPro you don't have a lot of time so you always have to do very very short videos if you are going to film for a long period of time normally they run out really really fast and now you have this possibility the access to the memory card can continue to be exactly the same that you are used to see in GoPros but I really like this door is really easy to open and close when you get used to I really like the mount that is exactly the same that you can find on the GoPro Max so you have like magnets and they close and they stay in place and if something goes wrong you can always if you break this you can always remove it and replace it for a new one so that is not a problem you just have to remove these four screws and you should be alright another thing that finally they've done and that's why when I was 
was looking for the GoPro Hero 8 in the past, I never purchased, is not having a front screen because many times you are outside and you don't want to take out your phone and now you can do it. And besides that, if you want, you can always see the resolution that you are filming. So many times I was using my GoPro Max and I was not able to see because the screen was in the other side. But in this way, I always have the certainty that I'm using the right mode. And another thing that I really like about this camera just out of the box is now that you have some modes. So you are able to decide if it's the activity mode, if it's the cinematic mode. And in that way, you have like a quick settings that you can just swap around. Another thing that I saw on this camera that I was really, really excited since I take it out of the box is the zoom feature. And I thought, whoa, if I have a zoom feature on this camera, I could do some dolly zoom straight away through the camera. And I don't even need to do it through Final Cut Pro. But in the end of the day, I can't because when you slide the zoom after, when you press record, you can change it. Another thing that I was just, and I am a bit disappointed, is how difficult it is to take out these covers. I understand that they have to be very, very tight for the waterproofing, but it's really, really difficult to rotate and swap. I would love to have seen like some grips here on the sides that will help to rotate because like this is very, very slippery. So something that I'm not really convinced about it. Another thing that I really like about the GoPro Hero 9 is the microphone, because when you are filming outdoors, I always recommend to everyone use their own microphone, not the one that is on the camera. But if you go out with some friends or if you are doing something and you want the background noise, it's good to have a decent microphone on your GoPro. Another thing that I really like on this one is the LED recording. So when you look to the GoPro Max, it was something that I was never really sure when you are outdoors if it was recording or not. And another thing that I really like is the fact that that LED is in both sides. So I don't have to look to a specific side of the camera to be sure that it's recording. And normally with this one, you'll be looking through the front part and the LED on this is massive. So definitely a plus that you have with this camera. This camera comes with 20 megabytes. That's good, but also many times more megabytes doesn't mean better image quality because the pixels normally they are smaller. So they can allow less light to come through the camera and get you the results. Also, another Another reason why I purchased this camera that I was not able to do with the GoPro Max is the slow motion feature. You can reach 180p at 240 frames per second. It's super slow. And if you use electric unicycles, electric skateboards, you know that you go fast because we are talking about <laughs> sometimes you can reach 50 miles per hour. But let's talk about a few things that I was a bit disappointed. The turn on and turn off here on the side that I really don't like the position and I will tell you why. I'm used in the GoPro Max that the button is exactly on the bottom, so it's much easier just to reach out for it. In this case, I need just to go a little bit more on the top to reach it. It's okay, but it's just to point it out, it's a small con. I really like how raised it is the turn on and turn off on the top. Another small con that I have just to point it out is the back screen. At least for this moment that I'm recording, the screen is not as responsive as it is on the GoPro Hero Max. So when you try to go to preference, it's a struggle, okay? I, I was not really enjoy that moment. The other thing that I just want to point it out is the big reason why I use GoPro and that is called color grading. It's so, so easy to use this camera in, in your computer with Final Cut Pro and do color grading of the footage. The only downside that you have with GoPro is that the image is already normally a little bit too dark. But besides that, color grading, you know that it takes a while and it's really, really good to have a camera that is so easy out of the box to just adjust your color grading and that's it. If you want to know a little bit more what is the best settings, I will leave in the cards in the description below. And also, if you want to know how to color grade a bit better your footage, I have done already a video about that that I'll leave in the cards and the description below. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face and I hope to see you in the next one.